hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on loss of logarithms applications this is the second video on applications of loss of logarithms check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on logarithms so we start with the first problem Problem 1. Evaluate each of the following. A. We have log h1 to base 3. B. We have log 0 0.04 base 5 and log 1 over 1000. And it is stated in our previous video that if the base is not indicated, it is base 10. So we start the solution from A. The method we are going to employ here is going to be based on the base of the logarithm we are working with. Therefore, we look at the logarithm of the number we are working with. Is it possible we express it as index form of the base? Yes, h1 is 3 raised to the power 4. So we have it as log to base 3, 3 to the power of 4. Now we now apply the law that makes use of this power as coefficient of these logarithms so that we have it as 4 log 3 base 3. And we know logarithm of any number to the base of that number is 1. So we have 4 times 1 here which give us 4. And we have successfully evaluated the logarithm represented in 1a so we go to 1b problem 1b we have log of 0 0.04 to base 5 we are going to express 0 0.04 as fraction and that will give us log 1 over 25 to base 5 remember we can write this 1 over 25 as index form of the base which is 5 so we have it as log to base 5 5 raised to the power negative 2 because 1 over 25 is 25 raised to the power negative 1 and 25 is 5 squared so that we will now have it as 5 to the power of negative 2 then again applying the law of logarithm we used here this becomes negative 2 log 5 base 5. And we still have log 5 base 5 to be 1. So 1 times negative 2 gives negative 2. That's the solution of the evaluation of this problem. We go to C. We have log 1 over 1000. We have earlier said that since the base is not indicated, it is base 10. We now express 1 over 1000 as index form of 10. That will now give us log to base 10, 10 raised to the power negative 3. So 1000 is 10 raised to the power 3. And 1 over 1000 is written as index form to be 10 raised to the power negative 3. So applying the law, so we have negative 3 log 10 base 10. And log 10 base 10 is 1 times negative 3 gives negative 3. And that is the end of solution to problem 1. So we go to problem 2. For problem 2, evaluate each of the following. A, we have log of root 27 to base 3 and log of root 32 to base 2 plus log of root 125 to base 5. So starting from A, um, we see express again square root of 27 as index form. Um, that will now give us log to base 3, 27 raised to the power half. And since 27 can be written as index form of 3, we have it as log to base 3, 3 raised to the power 3, then raised to the power half so applying the law of indices multiplying out the indices we have it as log 
3 base 3 to the power of 3 over 2. And this power here becomes the coefficient of the log of 3 to base 3. And log 3 to base 3 is 1. Multiply by 3 over 2, it gives 3 over 2. And in mixed fractions, we have one whole number, 1 over 2. Then we go to be part of problem 2. We have a log root 32 base 2 plus log root 125 base 5. Again, what we did here, we are going to do to individual log reading here. So we have a log to base 2, 32 raised to power half plus log to base 5, 125 raised to power half. This 32 can be expressed as index form of 2. So we have it as log to base 2, 2 raised to power 5 to the power of half plus log to base 5, 5 raised to power 3 to the power of half. Then apply, multiplying out the indices, log 2 raised to power 5 over 2 base 2 plus log 5 raised to power 3 over 2 base 5. So again, applying the appropriate law here, we have 5 over 2 log 2 base 2 plus 3 over 2 log 5 base 5. Again, log 2 base 2 is 1 and log 5 base 5 is 1. So we'll be left with 5 over 2 plus 3 over 2. This is 2.5 plus 1.5. Our final answer is 4. So we have succeeded in evaluating the problem represented in 2. Then we go to problem 3. So for problem 3, we start from a part of the problem. So in this problem, again, we are going to express this 4 as index form of 2 since we can express root 2 as index form of 2 also. So that's going to give us log 2 squared over log 2 raised to power half. And uh, bringing, making these powers as coefficient of the logarithms, I have it as 2 log 2 over half log 2 and log 2 will cancel log 2 i'll be left with 2 over half which is 2 times 2 and that gives 4 and we are done with problem 3a we go to 3b also we are going to change this we are going to change the base here and uh, we can choose any base in this case because 625 can be expressed as index form of 5. Also, 0 0.2 can be expressed as index form of 5. So I am going to choose base 10 so that I have log 625 base 10 over log 0 0.2 base 10. That is the change of base we have applied here. Then I express this as index form of 5. That will give me log 5 raised to power 4 over log 5 raised to power negative 1. 0 0.2 is 1 over 5. And 1 over 5 in index form is 5 to the power of negative 1. So applying the law of making the power the coefficient of the log reading i have it as 4 log 5 over negative 1 log 5 and again log 5 cancels log 5 i'm left with 4 over negative 1 which gives negative 4 and that is that for b we go to c for 3c Again, we change the base as we did in B. We have log 81 over log root 3. And uh, expressing 81 as index form of 3, I have it as 
log 3 raised to the power 4 over expressing log root 3 as index form of 3, I have it as log 3 raised to the power half. And uh, applying this law of making the power the coefficient, I have it as 4 log 3 over half log 3. And uh, log 3 cancels log 3. 4 over half means 4 times 2, and that gives 8. And we have done justice to problem 3. We go to problem 4. For problem 4, we are to evaluate log 16 base 7 times log 49 base 4 and B, log 32 base 2 minus log 25 base root 5 plus log 27 base 3. So starting from A, we are going to change everything here to base 10. So in the first part, we can have it as log 16 over log 7. So multiply by log 49 over log 4. So we express this one as index form of 4. Express this 49 as index form of 7. So we now have log 4 squared over log 7 times log 7 squared over log 4. So applying this law of making the power the coefficient of the log readings, I have it as 2 log 4 over log 7 times 2 log 7 over log 4. And uh, from here, log 7 cancels log 7 here log 4 cancels log 4 i'm left with 2 times 2 and that gives 4. we have done justice to um, problem 4a we go to 4b problem 4b i have log 32 base 2 minus log 25 base root 5 plus log 27 base 3 Again, we are going to change the base so that we have the first part to be log 32 over log 2 minus log 25 over log root 5 plus log 27 over log 3. Now we express 32 as index form of 2 here express 25 as index form of 5, express root 5 as index form of 5, root 27 as index form of 3. Then we go. This is going to give us log 2 raised to power 5 over log 2, then minus log 5 squared over log 5 to the power of half. Then plus log 3 raised to power 3 over log 3. And having done that, we now apply the law of making this power the coefficient of the log reading here. So we have 5 log 2 over log 2 minus 2 log 5 over half log 5 plus 3 log 3 over log 3 and uh, here this log 2 cancels log 2 will be left with 5 here log 5 cancels log 5 will be left with 2 divided by half and that will give us a uh, 4 so we have it as minus 4 and uh, log 3 cancels log 3 will be left with plus 3 so 5 minus 4 gives 1 plus 3 gives 4 and our final answer is 4 and that is the end of solution to example 4 this is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on 
log readings. Please remember to subscribe to this channel so that you can get updates on our new videos. Like and share these videos also. Until I come your way again, goodbye.